on the camera. What I think we all find quite bizarre is this is a couple who wanted privacy. They left the royal family because they wanted to control their own yeah. public image and their own privacy. And yet they're filming some, like you said, some very intimate, very personal moments on camera. And then we're very happy to share it for quite a substantial amount of money. When it's a shame when the British taxpayer was paying for them, they didn't want to share well, anything. And now Netflix are, they're very happy to. Well, and there we do have a point of agreement, I will say. Yes, 100% on that one. But presumably they wouldn't want to come to the King's coronation anyway, would they? Because if this is a royal family that has got institutional racism at its heart and represents, say, you know, racist slave-based commonwealth or whatever the next line's going to be, well, presumably they won't want to be a part of that coronation, would they? They wouldn't want to endorse it. Well, first, I do think part of this Netflix documentary is very interesting to actually start talking about the racism and the, the sort of microaggressions in the British press, which I actually think as a journalist, I was sort of interested to see that perspective. But they still do love their family. They still speak to a lot of the members of their family. And I think, look, whose family is perfect? We've all got our flaws and issues. And I do think they'll want to okay. be there for the family, but maybe not for the public. All right. Look, very last question. And I am being a little bit cheeky here. But in okay. your esteemed, in your esteemed experience, you know, in the world of showbiz and entertainment, if you're being really honest, if I strap you to a lie detector test now, now, how surprised would you be in two years' time if you're writing reports about the fact they've got divorced? OK, now I wouldn't wish that on any anyone. But yes, that was what I was thinking yesterday. I think if that ever happened, it would be mm. tragic. But I wonder what she would actually say about her marriage to Harry, because there is a narrative with Meghan that I think she'll follow the rest of her life. Ah, good stuff. All right. OK, look, thank you very much. I thoroughly enjoyed.